Dave, what are these? Toroidal propellers. Hemorrhoidal propellers? Yeah, they do not sit on these. No, and they can become a pain in your ass, and we'll tell you why. <laughs> What do we have here, Dave? This is the Prop Destroyer 2000. So I'm not a 3D printer guy. You are. You have an entire business link in the description. Why shouldn't people print out toroidal propellers? Because you should never print any propellers. Right. This is not a good idea. These things are flimsy. They'll crack and shatter. They're sharp little edges. This is a cautionary video. There's going to be a lot of people interested in these hemorrhoidal propellers. And you, you might have a 3D printer like Dave, and you're like, hey, I can just print my props out. No, 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 naughty bad. Don't do it. This is one I'm most interested in seeing. What, what's going to happen with the flippity floppity one? These are TPU. Right. But these little thin blades, they're just going to be flapping around like lips. Pet G, what is Pet G? So this is the one that people are recommending, and I still say don't 3D print your propellers. But PET G is a hard plastic that is used to make like milk jugs and water bottles. And it's hard, but it's got a lot more flex than PLA. So it won't just splinter immediately. Ooh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. What do I do, Dave? All you got to do is turn this knob. Right. Turn it up halfway, you get 50%. Yeah. Turn it up all the way, you're going to get an explosion. Okay. That's why I'm covering down here. Just yeah. Okay, like Luther. No, don't, don't protect your balls. Protect my camera. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Three, two. Button. It's spinning. It's spinning. It's spinning, and then she's getting the wobbles. Oh! Oh! It just disappeared. I don't know if the camera's fast enough. Holy sh! Oh. One frame, it's there. One frame, it's not. Good God! That was PLA. PLA is the most brittle, uh, least uh, usable for functional. Parts. You think that's going to be the most spectacular? Or? It's going to explode the easiest. All I, right. I can't wait to see what TPU does. Let's do it now! This is the most common 3D printed material? Well, in drones, it is the most common 3D printed material. It's kind of a niche subset of because it's completely flexible. Right, it's what you put on your arms to keep them yeah, safe. Yeah, we make skids out of it, I make GoPro cases out of it, rubber antenna mounts, all kinds of What's stuff. What's that like website? That. It's flyhighftv.com, <laughs> and you can get a case just like this. Boom, you like that. You can just drop your GoPro and not even care. In three, <laughs> two, Ramping, ramping. Oh, I can feel it vibrating. <laughs> Button. Do we need the Prop Destructor 9000? It didn't break. It's not going to break. It's TPU. Oh, well, have at it. Print all the 3D props you want. TPU. It's safer, but it's going to perform terrible. <laughs> TP, you think this is going to go well? No. I don't think so either. I'm gonna ramp it up. <laughs> Button. Hear the wobbles. Oh, look at that. It's so much longer. Oh, wobble wobble. It expanded out like a. But it didn't break. No. Look at that. That's it amazing. Just stretched and stretched and stretched. That's the advantage of TPU. That's why we put it on our quads. Is it's nearly indestructible. But it's not good for props and flying. But yeah, you really want something stiff for for a propeller. There's a reason why we still use pro regular propellers after over a hundred years since the Wright brothers, and that's because we've kind of perfected them as much as we possibly could in a hundred years. You think in a hundred years they're like, hey, let's take this boat prop and use it now. The Clark Y propeller design is like 70 years old. Yeah. And it's still like the, one of the most manufactured wings That's right. in the world. Do you think that these toroidal props would work with injection? Well, if it was polycarbonate, how do you think? Because we don't have those. I think that if we were going with, uh, like, we got a good quality manufacturer like Gemfan to produce these. Yeah. I think that they're still going to perform lower than a traditional propeller. You're going to get less lift. You're going to get less agile response. You're going to have a heavier propeller and none of those are gonna to add to better flight characteristics. What they're trying to do with the MIT project is make quieter propellers. Right. So that's even more appealing to like your Mavic flyers who are trying to like spy on people and look at people's windows. Yeah, right? yeah, right, not, not FPV guys yeah. who want it louder and faster. Yeah, we're proud of what we're doing. Yeah. Here, and we're not trying to make it any quieter. <laughs> so, we've, <laughs> so we've created a finger analog. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna poke it with a finger. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Safety yeah, okay. okay. Stick your finger in it. Okay. 
Is that Max? <laughs> would have been totally safe. <laughs> Look at the problem. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's mangled, dude. But your finger still exists. My finger is fine. And finally, Pet G, right? Pet G? What's it? Oh, go ahead. Are you going to you gonna finger my prop? Okay. What is this going to do? This feels a little bit more brittle. It's, uh, it's hard plastic, like the first one, the orange ones that blew up the PLA. Uh -huh. But this is going to be a little more flexible. So instead of just exploding immediately, you'll probably see it bend before it explodes. Okay. In three, yeah. two, one. Oh, wow. uh, I got hit in the elbow. <laughs> oh, you got a flesh wound? No, no. It, just, it just bumped me. All right, what's the last thing we're doing? We're just going to blow up a motor? Yeah. 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 We're continuing the science is yeah. what we're doing. Yeah. And we're going to spin a motor to failure. So we have been driving these props at 42,000 RPMs. Hashtag 420. <laughs> and now that we've gone up to 6S, we're going to be at 64,000 RPMs at full throttle. We're still using this, the Prop Destroyer 2000, but we're about to turbocharge this bitch. And are you going to put in another motor screw or just leave it out? Ken says let's let it ride. Let's let it ride. <laughs> Once again, I cannot express this enough. Do not do this at home. We also have a, a broken prop tip so that the prop's out of balance. We're really oh. trying to like make sure that we edge out all the... Uh, Come on, the let's send it. Let's toys. do it. Let's send it. In three, two... You can see when oh, it starts it's getting hot. Yeah, you can see where it starts smoking. How many RPMs is this? This is at 64,000 RPMs. Oh my God, <laughs> look at this. It's just. Dunners. Dunners. Jeez. Choked out. Wow. So, what actually is failing when that happens? Is the it motor the motor coils, the, 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 the copper inside there are overheating and they get so hot that they actually melt the enamel off of the coils. Uh huh. And then. You got all these coils laying on top of each other with no insulation anymore. Right. And they just fuse to each other and you got a, uh, a little fireball. Tesla would be proud. That's who invented the electric motor, by the way. Good old Tesla. I think he would like this. He would definitely like this. <laughs> there was a point to this, right? I mean, this is a cautionary tale. Yes. Don't 3D print propellers. It's bad. Of any kind. Of any kind. Toroidal, regular. And don't print your own stuff for your quad. Oh, yeah. I'll do it for you. I'll take care of all the science. Yeah. And uh, there's the make website. Sure it's the right material. Right there. There it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, you also have uh, these cool shirts. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Until next time. Buh. Mer. <laughs> Until next time. Buh. And bye. Until next time. Buh. And bye. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> I just did an old person thing. I was like, where are my glasses? They're f***ing on my head. And it's going to explode that way. Do we care about this guy? Uh, this guy, he's safe. Hey, he's all right. He's the towel. Yeah, look head. at that. Yeah. We're doing science. In three. Oh, sh**. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I got a challenge for you. Yeah. <laughs> you see that giant hole? Yeah. Can you go through that? Yes. Right up there at the top, top floor? Yes. Giant hole right through there? Yes. I just did it. Let's do it. Where is it I'm going now? Are you up there? Koshet? One. Oh my god, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, there's no getting it back. <laughs> Oh, and I hit too. I did it. You got me, Koshev? Yeah, I got you. Whoa, there you go. <laughs> I got that. All right, I'm going to zoom to. Are you getting the building? Yeah.
Oh my god, this image is just so fantastic with the O3. Wave to the camera. Hello, everybody. Ah! Woo! God, this image is fantastic. Yeah.